All right, uh, my name is Preston Spencer. I am from Searcy, Arkansas. And uh, right here I have the uh, Shackles of the Night versus the Liberty of Dawn. So two very, very beautiful uh, creations. Uh, talk about this one a little bit. What, what is it? Uh, what's, uh, what inspired it? All that stuff. Uh, well, this one right here, I've got a lot of people saying that it looks like the Batmobile and things like that. So I kind of took the design from the Batman series and where he looks menacing, and then I kind of made like a starship behind it to be able to kind of match like the dark forces and bad guys and all that stuff. Very nice. And so when you're designing something like this, what does the, the process look like? Do you do a lot of pre-planning, sort of sketching, or do you just kind of sit down and start building? Uh, mainly it's just starting to build and kind of what can things take off from where and where can I put stuff on things and other stuff like that. Um, mainly I was like I had a big picture in the background, what I wanted to build. Uh, and then from there, I just kind of threw things on, and if it looked good, I kept it. If it didn't look good, I just kind of trashed it. That's a good way to go if I ever hurt anyone. Uh, so when you're transporting it, what, how does it break down? Do you sort of uh, take it into sections? or? Yes, particularly for this one. This one has all four wings just kind of pop off. They're on the... Um, kind of, I guess, the ball hinges, pretty much. Sure. And then from there, it just sits into a tub and ships off. And then the big one, however, is completely solid. So that one you just pick up and carry to the back of the car, and that's good to go. And so when you say completely solid, like it's completely just like built out with brick and stuff inside? It is completely just bricks layered all the way down the middle, and then just pretty much plates kind of covering the outside of it. That is amazing. And so uh, describe the whole design of this one here. The whole design of this one, I kind of took from... From the uh, the Halo series in Star Wars, where they had these giant juggernaut of a ship, just kind of battling through all these space wars and things like that. And so I took the design from uh, mainly the Spirit of the Fire and uh, the Star Destroyer, and kind of mashed them together into one kind of mix of a battleship. And then you have an interesting little uh, artifact here in the front. What's that? Uh, yes, during while I was bu uh, building this one during the summer, I talked with the um, my school and they let me use their 3D printer to kind of come up with a main design and uh, I was able to go there 3D print it and it just turned out beautiful. And so is this something that you did before you were building this or in the sa at the same time as? Or? This was kind of during the same time okay. so I kind of wanted to see what it looked like completed so I was able to use a 3D printer. To a do little that. bit of rapid prototyping? Yes. And so uh, maybe delving a little bit more into this build, uh, well, how did you source all of these pieces? Was, uh, was it a brick link situation or going to Lego stores? It's a lot of brick. Well, after seeing a bunch of the main professionals kind of throw theirs together, I was like, okay, what can I do to the, uh, be able to match their size of the starships and be able to match their kind of detail on that? So from there, I started throwing things together from uh, mainly Technic pieces, and then I realized I was really low on pieces, so I had to, I like ran to Bricklink, I ran to Lego stores, stores are us, but it's anything I can get Legos from, that's where I got all the pieces for. That's awesome, and I love how you kind of have some older elements that interspersed, because it makes it look like sort of, uh, I don't know, like a little bit little rough around the edges. I love that. Yeah, yeah and those were mainly from eBay lots that I would just buy like tons and tons of Legos from, and I had no idea they were really old pieces, but they just kind of made it look kind of like an arch artifact, yeah. sort of, so that's... that's amazing. Very nice, Bill. Thank you so much for sharing with us. All right, thank you.